How to turn a PowerPoint into a video. Well, if you've searched for this term on YouTube, I think you could be one of two types of people. Maybe you have a wonderful slideshow you used at maybe a business conference or whatever, and you know it'll be useful to share this with many other colleagues or members of the workforce who weren't there. But them seeing just the slides on their own won't make any sense. Now you've got the notes in the unseen section of the PowerPoint file that you were maybe reading on stage that the audience didn't see. But you need an audio narration while people look at the slides, don't you? Now the other type of person watching this, I think, will be, like me, a professional voiceover artist. You'd like to be the narrator for projects just like this and provide a full turnkey service to clients where they send you the PowerPoint slides plus the script and you would return a video with all your voiceover synchronized with each slide. So let me show you exactly what you need to do in just a few minutes. First, record your voiceover narration. Now, the script may already exist in the notes section of the PowerPoint that you see in edit mode, but viewers in the slideshow mode never get to see. Or it could be a simple Word or PDF document that the client sends you separately. It doesn't matter, as long as you know what section of narration text belongs to what slide. In between slides, just leave a good gap of silence of about five seconds. You'll edit this out later, but the gap will make it easy in the edit process. You now need to extract all the slides from the PowerPoint. With PowerPoint open, you click Save As and choose any graphic format. .png file type is a good quality option. It then asks you which slides you wish to export. Do you want to save just the slide you're on at the moment or the whole presentation as separate slides? You say that you like them all to be exported, and then it tells you that all the slides are now separate files in one folder and tells you where that is. Great. Now let's use a video editing program. Don't be scared. They're all very similar, and you won't be using any of the clever stuff that can take a while to learn. You'll just be doing basic editing and exporting. This happens to be Adobe Premiere Pro, but you may be using iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, Hit Film Express, and so on. They all look very similar. They have a timeline from left to right and a video pane that shows where your control line is on the timeline. Start a new project and create what's called a sequence. This is where you can drag or paste audio and video. If it asks you about settings, a normal high-definition video is 1,920 pixels wide by 1,080 pixels high. Import the audio file with the narration and drag it to your sequence. You'll find the audio tracks are always under the video tracks, so you drag here. Now you'd import the slides into the box where all your imported assets go. Drag the first slide onto the video part of the timeline above the audio track, and now you can easily see, with the gaps you left in the audio narration, which section of audio has to be matched with the correct slide. So you use the drag and cut tools to match everything up, remembering, of course, to cut the gaps in the audio tracks out using the razor blade tool, and you can check the video by playing it. Usually, you can start and stop the video playback by using the spacebar. You may want to add some transition effects between slides, like dissolve or push effect, which goes from side to side, but basically that's it. Happy? Well, just export the video as an MP4 video, and you're done. Now, if you're a business person, you know now what to do. For voiceovers, why not offer this service to turn a PowerPoint into a video as a gig on sites like Fiverr and Upwork, or tell your regular clients if you think they have business conferences, they'll have PowerPoints coming out their ears. And for voiceovers, please check out more videos and training materials at voiceovermasterclass.com. And thank you very much for watching.